The balloon chipper was a huge mistake and Ninja Kiwi says that there are regrets for adding it because it's so hard to balance. So I thought I'd go back to BTD5 for one video and see what made it so broken. Now just to get everyone up to speed, towers in BTD5 only have two paths and four upgrades in total and these are the balloon chipper's upgrades. The left upgrade path has the suck your upgrade which allows it to suck balloons in faster, the heavy duty suction which allows it to pop lead balloons, the dual layer blades which makes it do two damage instead of one and the super wide funnel which allows it to suck in more upclass balloons, more on this one later. The right the upgrade path gives rage, faster shredding, two extra barrels and an ability called super vac which sucks all nearby balloons and it keeps them there for the duration. So why was this so busted? Well first off the tier 4 left path upgrade can suck in Moab class balloons. This upgrade costs only four and a half thousand dollars and it almost instantly destroys Moabs. BFBs take two rounds to get popped and ZOMGs take a little bit more. The other tier 4 the super vac looks to have no pierce limit and it sucks everything around it and it keeps it there for the duration for the price of six thousand dollars. So so what was the problem? Well the balloon chipper is not a damage but it's a stalling tower. It has this feature where the balloons it sucks get thrown at the back of the tower but they're still targetable by other towers like my son avatar is doing right here. I think the tier 4 left pad completely destroying moabs in one second is straight up busted and the closest thing we have to this in BTE6 is Pat Fusty's squeeze ability which has a cooldown and is relatively more expensive but this thing does it all the time on no cooldown for about four and a half thousand dollars. The fact that you can have as many tier 4s as you want allows us to to do some ridiculous things. I bought a few super vac abilities and sent a bunch of balloons and since there is no pierce limit and one ability lasts for 8 seconds, this means that you can permanently stall every single balloon in its range. And going back to BT6, the question would be how would the third pad even look like? What would the tier 5 upgrades do and how would it all get balanced? And I guess these are the questions that got Ninja Kiwi dissuaded of even attempting to figure it out and just said we're not doing it in BT6. But I'd like to hear your guys' ideas on how would the balloon chipper look like in BT6 and how to balance this ridiculous tower. That's gonna be it for this one. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching it. If you want to support the channel, you can use code Ethan Reed in the blue store, and I'll see you in the next one.